fat. Okay, so here's the deal. I went for a console for SRS yesterday, and I am at least 50 pounds too heavy. Um, right now, I'm at I'm at 306. So, um, over the next six months or so, I've got to lose at least that much, hopefully more, um, to get my BMI down to where it needs to be, so they can safely do the surgery. So. I gotta start exercising. Um, my BMI needs to be at least 35, um, preferably 30 or lower. And right now, it's in like the mid 40s. So, in order to safely do the surgery, minimum I have to lose 50 pounds, like I said. If I were to try to really get down to 30 or below, I'd need to lose almost 100. Which is frustrating because several years ago when I was, you know, on a crazy exercise regimen, I was about that weight then. And in the past six or seven years, I've just fallen off the wagon and let myself go. And part of that, obviously, is uh, because I was dealing with my gender identity and that fucks with your head. And when you don't feel good about yourself, you don't take care of yourself. So fortunately, the um, team that I'm working with has openings as early as late August, early September. So I've got a lot of work to do between now and then. And there's a few issues that I need to um, figure out how to manage. First and foremost is my time. I can tell you from when I tried to lose weight before, that's one of the biggest challenges because you don't have every second of the day. I've got a, a bunch of projects that I'm working on right now um, and um, I have a toddler. So the second hurdle is money. So I don't have a bunch of cash to dedicate to this right now. As it stands, my budget really doesn't um, have room for gym, really a bunch of new equipment, or really the right clothes. So I'm going to have to be creative. When I lost weight before, I did most of it um, by just walking every day. That was a slow process, but it worked. But that time I lost 30 pounds in about a year. And obviously I've got a time crunch, so I've got to ramp it up. The third big thing is um, dysphoria. Um, I don't know, I mean, you can't really see right now, but um, <laughs> every morning I wake up and um, I've got stubble from having shaved before. Um, I haven't had the time or money to dedicate to electrolysis or laser. Um, so right now, I'm wearing concealer and um, a little bit of foundation so that when I'm walking out and about, uh, it's not so obvious that I've got five o'clock shadow. And as I said, I really don't have necessarily the appropriate um, gendered clothing. Um, a lot of um, the exercise clothes that I have from before are um, men's stuff. Um, I didn't 
throw them out when I got rid of most of my other boy clothes. For now, I'm going to have to make do. But I'm not going to lie, it's difficult to... It's difficult to feel motivated when you are afraid of getting clocked. Right now, I mean, I live in a short town and for most of the year um, there's nobody here and um, I think I saw one or two people walking around when I was out today. In a month or two there's going to be hundreds of people and they're probably going to be in their own world not paying any attention to me but but it's difficult to get over that little bit of a mental block. Um, so I'm going to have to do what I can. The fourth thing is knowing what to do. Um, like I said, I lost weight before mainly by walking, but that is a slow way to do it. Part of my problem is that I um, am asthmatic, so um, <laughs> it's this vicious circle where it's difficult for me to do um, a lot of cardio because I have an asthma attack and therefore I don't necessarily exercise, but because I don't exercise, it exacerbates my asthma. So <laughs> I need to figure out exactly what exercises are going to work well for me that aren't going to trigger um, an attack. Walking is pretty much a guaranteed thing that I can do. Biking is another option. It gets my heart rate up, but it's not too strenuous as far as my breathing, but right now um, I don't have a bike anymore. So I need to find some money to buy one. I did not shake this up enough, but I need to do some research and figure out and try things and see what is going to work for me. The final big thing is um, food. Um, I really need to change my diet. Um, I'm not going to lie, I was a little disappointed when I got weighed yesterday um, because I thought I had been doing better as far as food goes. Um, part of that was that I completely gave up meat for Lent and I've been downing a ton of vegetables. <laughs> And so I thought that would help a little. But I weigh more that now than I did before. So, but I need to figure out a better way of feeding myself. And part of that issue too is, again, um, healthier options are more expensive. I don't know if extreme couponing is going to help, but maybe that's what I need to do in order to um, get the right foods and not a bunch of crap. So those are the areas that I need to work on. I've got something of a plan and unlike before, I have the motivation. If you have any tips or tricks, please leave a comment down below and I would love to hear about your weight loss journey. In the meantime, uh, wish me luck and uh, I'll see you around.